Hi, this is Erin Harrison coming to you from the Los Angeles Convention Center at IT Expo West 2010. I'm joined today by Darren Schreiber, CEO of the 2600 Hertz Project. Welcome, Darren. Thanks. Thanks Glad for joining here. me. Um, so you guys are pretty new to the industry. Tell us about what the 2600 Hertz Project is all about. Sure. 2600 Hertz Project is an open source project primarily uh, where we're building distributed uh, cloud computing um, switching software. It powers very small or very large scale uh, call volumes across the internet and you can use uh, pretty much any type of server to spin up our services on and, and switch thousands and thousands of calls and then layer your own application or your own niche product on top of that and worry less about how the calls actually get um, placed from point A to point B. Okay, great. Um, and now you guys do something pretty unique in that you give away your core product. Tell us about that. We do. So we give away, uh, and it's truly open source, we, we give away the, uh, the core switching piece. Uh, that piece basically allows people to get started faster. Uh, mm -hmm. It hooks them into our service and gets them excited about it. There's enough opportunity out there for different types of products that people who need support and can afford to pay for it, um, they come to us and they ask for the, the customizations or they ask for support services. Uh, and then there's people who just use it for free and they contribute back in the form of documentation or other things, anything they can help out at. So it builds a community around the product, it builds a strong brand around the product, mm -hmm. uh, and it builds a, a, you know, a very solid product in that we hear about bugs much faster than if we had our own team uh, testing and constantly using the software. It's much, much more rich that we're able to have so many users out there using it and testing it and reporting back to us on it. Um, so it's pretty unique in that. Um, and it really opens up uh, you know, uh, the, the playing field for anyone to come along and try this out. Okay, we were talking earlier um, before we started uh, taping about the trend of, of companies wanting to be able to use co commoditized equipment. Yep. Um, so tell us about your role in that. Sure, so that's a big focus for us has been um, how do we allow you to use any virtualized provider out there? It might be Amazon, it might be uh, you know, someone as small as Synapse Global, uh, you know, the small being they have, you know, 4,000 servers. Amazon obviously has huge data centers. Sure. So th there are different companies out there who provide hosting and provide different levels of hosting services, and we want to enable anybody to pick what combination of services they want to offer both to their customers and what they want to run their own operational systems on as well. So our software has been specifically designed not only to use the commoditized, soft, uh, commoditized hardware um, that might be out there of your choosing, uh, but we've worked very hard to try and make it a self-scaling and a self-healing product. And what that means is the software is actually being built to, de to detect uh, when it's running to capacity and needs additional resources. And so if you program uh, a service like Rackspace Cloud to uh, utilize their APIs to spin up a new server, potentially you have the type of system where it will turn on and turn off servers at will when they're actually needed and actually utilized, which is pretty unique because most of the virtualized servers, uh, services charge per hour of utilization. So potentially it means at night when there's very low volume or very low utilization, you're not paying for servers that are just sitting there. Um, okay. And then of course you, you've solved the whole problem of having to scale up and build new servers that does that for you. So uh, pretty, pretty cool solution in terms of, uh, you know, the reach that it can grab in terms of a growing service that needs to grow quickly. Okay, great. Um, and before we wrap up, you guys are making a pretty big announcement this week. Yep, we're, uh, we're announcing a partnership with uh, iCall Carrier Services. iCall is a company who already has a, an advertising free calling platform on the iPhone, and we believe that there's room for uh, sort of leveling the playing field with a lot of free VoIP services out there who are offering things, even like Google Voice is offering uh, free calling through the web browser, but there's still no solution for free calling from a desk phone, a business phone. Mm -hmm. Businesses tend to see phone systems as a pretty expensive cost, and when you're starting a small or medium business uh, and you need the ability to get phone service, having a, a business grade you know, desk phone at every desk is, is pretty important. Mm -hmm. um, so our goal is to actually take, and, and what we've done is we've worked with Yealink to put advertisements on the LCD displays of the phones and they rotate through uh, a series of advertisements and that helps, helps offset the cost of providing phone service to the point where it's, it's virtually free. So uh, carriers can take this service from us and choose to sell it to their customers and, or, or give it away to their customers if they so choose uh, and then they'll be able to provide free or very low cost service to um, uh, their customers and, and be able to compete with some of these other providers who 
uh, really are driving the price down very quickly and it's making it very hard to compete. Okay, excellent. Um, and before we close, what are you hoping to accomplish while you're here at IT Expo this week? We hope to meet a lot of different uh, service providers, a lot of different, you know, we've already met some interesting folks in the cable industry who do mm -hmm. uh, cable operator services. Uh, we've talked to a bunch of emerging uh, IT service providers who are trying to get into VoIP. And our goal is to just meet more of those folks and, and have them either try out the software or embrace it fully and, and give it a whirl and see if we can't uh, power their hosted VoIP platforms and um, build them whatever they need. So that's our goal. Okay, well, best of luck to you, Darren. Thank you. Appreciate you having Thank me. Thank you. We've been speaking with Darren Schreiber, CEO of the 2600 Hertz Project. This is Aaron Harrison coming to you from the Los Angeles Convention Center at IT Expo West 2010.